the door is marked. Okay, we're being brought into uh, plumbing station number one by Sunshine. She's off camera, but we're gonna get a little tour real quick to somebody else, right? Yes. Okay, let's go. Walk that way. Walk this way, okay. This is cool. And how long has this been here? Uh, I think it's been here for about a year. About a year. Go straight. Go straight. Go straight. The kitchen and oh man, they got a lot of stuff back here. Which walls did they just? Oh, this. Uh, they just put these walls up, so they have a little kitchen area. Okay. Okay, so this is mostly going to be. Uh, oh, they got routing tables and stuff here, huh? Where? Oh, I better not turn so fast. So you got an epilogue, an epilogue laser. Okay. Wow, and they got a. A, a break and a very large, very, very large bandsaw, old school. Wow. Some machine tools. Some lathes. Mini lathes. Mini, mini lathes. Oh, that looks familiar. We have one of those at Rock Hacker Space. Wow, oh, this place is just packed. Chopping log. This must be the welding section. And then we're going to go upstairs. So you go through this hallway and there's your QR, your QR tag. So we'll go upstairs and check it out. So this is the upstairs. Okay. They say this is storage. That looks like a loft area that has lots of storage. So it's kind of dark for the camera here. Um, they obviously, this is from their scanning microscope. I saw that earlier. Um, oh, this is interesting. They got their re resistor code up there. <laughs> and they got some more artwork here. Fascinating. And then this is the arts and craft area on the second floor uh, where they have some sewing machines, several, several sewing machines over there. A big table here with some vinyl cutters I heard and some, they do arts and craft cutting here. Everything's mostly Tuesday night. They have some 3D printers here. It looks like, yeah, okay. And then there's the maker bot. And I think that's the vinyl cutter. Interesting work they can do here. There's a large HP printer. I think it's HP. I'm just guessing. No, it's not. Yeah, it's a big HP printer. So that's where they keep most of the stuff here on the second floor. And but over here is where they do the electronics. They have a they have a Delta robot over here. And the crates and crates and crates of stuff. For them to work on. Looks like they're in the midst of tearing down their Delta robot. Oh, I'll turn on you. Yay! Oh, and they're working on another type of I beam, extruded aluminum I beam, probably MakerBot kind of style. This Delta is Rose Stock Max. Okay. And this is where they do Arduino classes and other microcontrollers and electronics. Still second floor. Bins and bins and bins of tools. It's a very interesting layout with lots of folding table space and table space. A drill, some computers over here. Oops, the sun is messing up the camera. Let's see, we got CMOS RAM, check some air. We've got a couple old oscilloscopes, a 454A oscilloscope. Tektronics 2445. Another old Tektronics. You don't recall who did that, huh? Yeah, it's definitely on the Okay, and then we have a, a meeting space where it looks like they play music. And over here at the front window, they actually have a bar. So a full, a full service bar here at pumping station number one. Cool. And it looks like the front door has a little information 
about the back door. So if you're the last person leaving, you'll know the back door is open. It looks like the wires are broken on this right now. But more interestingly, in this little box is a tool drop. Yay! So if you brought out some tools and you need to send them back and no one's here, you can drop off. You can drop off the tools that you took home.